Here we have a 2009 ML350 CDI and it's a special order. It's done just 69,000 kilometres and it's had one owner. The car is in immaculate condition. It's got a very nice set of Pirelli tyres and all the wheels are also in immaculate condition. It's got a number of extras, include the off-road pro pack, which basically means you've got low range capability, you've got a rear and centre differential lock, you can have it in auto so it automatically locks when you lose traction or you can lock them manually, and you've got the adjustable suspension. Now that option I'm told cost about $10,500 when new. It's also got the normal adjustable suspension where you've got your sport and comfort settings which is a very good thing to have. Other features include reverse camera and navigation. It's also been fitted with heated windows which are double glazed. I'm not sure if you can see it there. I'll put the window up. So what that means is, say you've got two layers in here, base means it's sound insulated and they're heated as well. It comes in this gorgeous colour, this light blue metallic. It's got soft leather interior. It's got air conditioning controls in the back. But if you're looking for a ML320 or 350 and you want a car in immaculate condition, You've looked at a number of cars and you've been very disappointed by the condition of these cars and the general wear and tear. Please come and have a look at this car. It's also got a tow bar. It's even been optioned with a full size spare. You'd open up the back and say, why has it got this, this lump here? That's because it's got its full size aluminium wheel in the back. There's the tongue. The tow bar doesn't look like it's been used. The car generally is in incredible condition. It's got the rear tray. This car, we've literally just given it a wash. And it's one of those cars, if, if it's set on the speedo, the car had done 15,000 kilometres since it was brand new, you'd believe it. But it is 69,000 kilometres. It's got front and rear parking sensors. It's got the Pirelli Scorpion tyres, all in as new condition. Looking down the side, there's no dents, scrapes, scratches. It's, it's really unbelievable. The car does not have a sunroof. And you may ask why. It's because it was delivered in Queensland, new, and it's been serviced by the dealer every service since it was brand new. And in Queensland, a lot of cars are actually optioned without a sunroof because of the weather up there but it's in absolutely stunning condition. It's got some incredible benefits to it. I mean, the fact that you can buy this car with 69,000 kilometers for just under $40,000, when one of the options we're talking about, not all of them, one of the options we're talking about cost around $10,000 is remarkable. It's got 165 kilowatts of power It's got a very good fuel consumption. It's got the seven-speed gearbox. Even little things, I've just gone to look, walk past and look, you can see the discs are like brand new. The pads have just been replaced. And this is the car, you can zoom right in. And have a close look. It's absolutely spotless. And if you're gonna buy a second-hand car, any car, or a family SUV like this one, I think you may as well look around for a car in immaculate condition because really a car is worth what it's worth second hand. If it's in great condition, it's worth a little bit more. So I think to find something like this is incredible. It's got two remote keys to it. It's got Bluetooth capability. The 
average fuel consumption these generally is about 10 litres per 100 kilometres. We'll start it up. So that's the functions I was talking about. Bluetooth. Reverse camera. It really is unbelievable. The back seats don't look like they've sat in. I mean, really, the front seats hardly look like they've been sat in. It's just one of those very unique cars where someone's really loved it. You'll see around here, they often get a bit sticky and some funny marks. Even that looks very good. The Update series had a much nicer steering wheel and much nicer leather. It's got the paddle shift on the steering wheel as well. I've read some reviews on these ML350 diesels. And all the reviews are very complimentary. They say it's economical, it's powerful, it's safe, reliable. I mean, in one review it said that they liked absolutely everything about the car, but they didn't like the fact that the cruise control was on a stalk. And the gear stick. I mean, gee, if that's, that's the, the worst thing they found about a car, that's pretty impressive to me. I quite like it. If I'm driving along and I want to set the cruise control, I go, set and it's set. If I want to put it in drive, I put my foot on the brake, drive. If you're going to reverse park, you indicate, reverse, forward, now I'm in park. It's actually as simple as that and that's where a lot of manufacturers are going. If um, some people think, oh what happens if you make a mistake and you think it's the indicator or something like that, well that's fine, it actually just goes into neutral. Um, as I said, this car hasn't been detailed, believe it or not. Even looking at all the door jams, it's remarkable. Now, it's been fitted with all this off-road technology. But the car doesn't look like it's ever even been off-road. I mean, you can see... Actually, we'll have a look under the bonnet. It looks like it's been garaged. Even the engine bay is very clean. Let's look down that on the rails and everything. There's no dust, dirt. Doesn't even look like it's been on a dirt road, let alone off-road, through mud and things. It's a very, very impressive car. And I think would suit a very fussy owner. If you have any questions, please feel free to give us a call. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville in Sydney, about 20 minutes from the airport. Um, I've looked at quite a few of these MLs over the years, and it's the first one I've seen in three years with the off-road pack. The last one I saw was an 06 V8. Um, so if you've been looking for that pack, I'd probably suggest that this is the only car for sale potentially in the country with that technology. And if you use it, great. And if you don't, that's great as well. It still has the technology there and it will help you down the track. So in five years, 10 years, when it's got some more kilometers on it and it's for sale, customers are gonna say, or potential buyers are gonna say, well, it's diesel, it's got off-road pack, hopefully you've kept it in good condition like this. And as a result, you'll get a very good resale. Well, thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. This is a car where we're very happy to have at the Old Timer Centre, as it is in such amazing condition with such a good history.